What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion for Revit uh, Mechanical Design Professional Certification Preparation. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to modify, edit our uh, pipe types and duct types. So we're going to learn how to create and edit the pipe and duct type. So as you can see here, so I have uh, connections of pipes. I have pipes here with the fittings, but you will notice they have a different type of fittings. So if I click this one, so this is just a standard out of out of the box uh, pipe type. And then I also have here my PVC type, DMB. <clears throat> and then the other one here is chilled water pipe. Okay, so you will notice they have different pipe uh, fittings. Same with my uh, duct here. But let's talk about first our pipe. So if you are going to check your project browser, you can check the families here. And let's look for the pipes. So we have pipe types here. So we have these three types of pipes. Okay, so if you're going to check the system, so you have several systems that uh, you can do with uh, these pipes here. So for these pipe types, if you want, let's say, for example, let us explore first our pipe here. So I'm going to click this pipe here, and then I'm going to check the properties. Okay, so let's go to the edit type. And then in the edit type, you'll be able to see some parameters or data that you can use to further uh, put inputs to this type of uh, pipe okay but one thing that I would like to explore here is the routing preferences so if I'm gonna click the edit type here let's click that one so you'll be able to see what are the uh, contents on that particular uh, pipe type so we have here the segment which is copper you can actually change the material of that if you click the drop down arrow and then you can also specify here the minimum size and then the maximum size for that particular pipe segment okay so if you want to adjust the minimum size and then the maximum size of that pipe segment you can go to the segments and sizes let's click that one and then from the mechanical settings, segments, and sizes, make sure the selected material is the one that you would like to adjust. So these are the sizes that you can use for that particular pipe segment. So you can uncheck and check the sizes that you would like to be included to the size list or to the sizing. So these are the sizes. You can uncheck and uncheck. And you can also create a new size here. So let's say you want to create a new segment. You can always click this icon here to create a new uh, pipe segment. Okay. Now let me just cancel this one and let us explore more. So you will notice for this uh, pipe type standard. So you are using an elbow here. If you click the drop down arrow, you'll be able to see the different types of elbow that you can use for this particular pipe segment. Same with the preferred junction. Just take note of the preferred junction. So you have couple of options here. So you have the T connection and then you also have the tap connection. So if you select the tap connection, you can specify again the elbow that you would like for that. And then you can specify the cross here as well. And you will notice the junction here <clears throat> You will not be able to uh, uh, select. Actually, you can select, but you will notice the junction here becomes gray out because the preferred junction type that you specify here is tap. So that's why I'm just going to make that T connection. And then there you go. It's now highlighted again. And then you also have the options in your routing preferences to specify what type of cross fittings that you would like transition union flange if you want and cap so if the family or the fittings is not here let's say on your junction you only have this you can always load family okay so just make sure you have installed the uh, content uh, library in your machine so that when you select load family you'll be able to load 
the fittings that you would like. Okay, so let me just uh, cancel this one. Now, let's say you want to create a new type of fittings. Okay, so you can do that. If you want, you can duplicate. So let's say I want my reference to be the PBC, okay, PBC type. So I want this to be as my template. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select here, duplicate. Just click duplicate and then you can specify the name <coughs> of the pipe type that you will be doing. So let's say I'm going to type here, but well, carbon steel. And then I'll just select your OK. And there you go. You just created a new type. And then you can go to the routing preferences. You can edit that. And then you can select here what uh, pipe segments, elbows, and other fittings that you would like to be uh, included to your pipe type but will carbon steel. So basically, that's how you create a new pipe type. Okay? So it's not difficult. Now, let me just select your OK and then OK. So now I have that type. Okay, so that's how you uh, explore or that's how you modify, create a new pipe type. So it's the same procedure on how to create a new duct type, which is what we are going to do next. So these are your pipe types. And then let's go to our dock here. So let us explore more. And you will notice here on my dock. So I have several uh, system families for my dock. So if I'm going to select one of the dock here and click the drop down arrow here. So you will notice I have uh, different uh, system families for my dock. So I have an oval duct. So I have a rectangular duct. And also I have a round duct. Okay, so for your pipe, you only have pipe here. So there are no other type of or other system family for pipes. So you only have a pipe. But for your duct, so you have three types. So just remember that. So you have the oval duct, you have the rectangular duct, and then you have a round duct. Okay, so if you want to create a new type of duct, so same procedure just like on what we did on our pipe here. So you can click one of the duct. You can go to the edit type. So as you can see, it's just the same except for the adding of roughness uh, parameter here. So in your pipe, you don't have this parameter. Okay, so that's one thing that you need to uh, take note during the examination. And also for the routing preference, preferences, same with your pipe here. So if you click the edit, you can see here the duct size. You can load family. Let's click the duct size here. So it's the same as your segments and sizes almost. Okay, so these are the duct sizes for your rectangular, oval, and round. So same procedure if you want to create a new size, you just click new size. If you want to delete a size, just delete the size. If you want to include a particular size to your uh, sizing or size list, you can check or uncheck. All right, so let's cancel this one out. Okay, and then you make sure you also load the family that you would like to use in order for them to be available, let's say on the junction list, uh, cross fitting list transition etc etc okay so that's how you create and how you modify your uh, duct so uh, let me just cancel this one and I'm going to select here cancel okay so let's say for example you want to change the type of the duct connection okay so if I'll be selecting all of this connection here so there is no option for me to change that to another system type of duct, right? But for your pipe, duct, cable tray, and conduit runs, so there is a special tool for that or command. So if you look at the edit panel here, you can see there's a change type tool, and then the other one is reapply type. So for the change type, it changes the type for a multi-selection of duct, pipe, cable tray or conduit run okay and you also have the reapply type 
So it updates the pipe type for the selected run when a change has been made to the routing preferences. Okay, so like for example, for this one, you just need to select the connection or you can use the tab on the keyboard. So you just hover your pointer to one of the duck. <clears throat> and then after that, press tab and then tab again if you want to select all the duck. Tab again until it highlights all the connections. So once it highlights the connection, you click the duct. There you go. And then after that, change type. So you can click change type and then you can change this one. So let's say I want that to be like uh, Gord Elbows T. So you, I can click that. And as you can see, it's now updated. Okay. So if I change this one, so let's say I'm going to change that to uh, uh, my third elbow stops. So there you go. So I can also hover my pointer, press tab, tab again to highlight all the connections and then click. And let's try to use uh, change type again. So for this one, since we have selected a uh, different couple of type for the duck so as you can see it becomes it disappears but you can actually click the drop down arrow here to see the type there so now there's a problem because we have a mix of uh, uh, duck type okay so just be uh, bear in mind that you will be able to have that issue if you have a different type of duck to your connection which is in real world you don't do that so you only use one system all right so let me just close this one and then i'm just going to undo it all right okay so there you go so basically that's how you uh, explore your duct type and pipe type because this is part of your examination okay so just explore this and make yourself uh, self familiar with this uh, settings and tools to modify your pipe and duct all right so thank you for watching guys have a nice day